Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And now in today's video, we're going to be talking about timer resolution. Now, timer resolution is something that can very much help your feeling of your mouse input, the way your input lag, it can definitely decrease your input lag. Now, it's been out definitely. I've been using it for about a year now, I'd say at least. It's definitely helped a lot. There's a couple of things that we need to talk about. A lot of people have seen this program, just Time Resolution by Gandam Lucas Hale. Not going to recommend that one for you guys. It was originally made for XP, then kind of updated for 7 and 10. This is paid software. You have to pay 10 US dollars for it. We're not going to do that. Obviously, if you want to support him, feel free to go ahead. But then there's other softwares that do this for free. This one being Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Now, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner is actually always running for me. This is what I use. Use it for a couple other reasons. It clears your standby list in your RAM so that when you're running your RAM, you don't always, you can lower your RAM list, RAM usage. It's very important. It's very good, especially when you're gaming for that. Now, I am going to link down below my Google Drive. It's going to have a couple of things like my FPS boost guides that I'm going to be releasing very soon. My my personal game configs in case you guys want to try those out and then there's going to be a files folder the files folder is what i'm going to put this in it's going to be you're going to need to extract it with 7-zip please use 7-zip don't use winrar don't use the basic windows one use 7-zip it's the only true free one and gives you all the options now we're going to open this folder you'll see a couple of things we're going to start off with intelligent standby list cleaner now, I'm going to recommend that you throw this into a different folder besides this one. Maybe even what you might want to do is just copy the folder, take it into your C drive, and then drop it in. Because once Intelligent Standby List Cleaner is starting, you cannot remove it. <laughs> That's something very important to know. You must keep this folder where it is. And you can't delete it because it's always going to be running. So, we're going to open it. And it will show up in this. Okay. Now, this is what you'll see when you start. I did ma manually kind of edit the config just so that this is set. Now, it says for advanced users only. It's fine. This isn't going to break anything. Don't go past 0 0.5. You're good and not going to work. Now, this is very good, especially on newer hardware. Now, when I say newer hardware, I'm not talking about the last two years. I'm talking about the last five years. If you have a PC and it's from the last five years, so if you bought it in 2015, newer, I'm definitely going to recommend this for you. Now, there's a couple of things. For example, like 2013, 2014, before then, there's a setting in your BIOS called High Precision Event Timer. You're going to want to actually disable that instead of with newer hardware you want it enabled. It better uses it. Some BIOSes won't even let you disable it anymore. My Mine won't on my current gaming PC. On my streaming PC it will. Always just depends on the BIOS. Okay, so let's just get back to actually explaining this program. Now, we're not going to change the polling rate. Just keep it at 1000. Maybe if you're having issues, maybe lower it. Do not raise it though. You can have issues. So you're going to want to see these two things. Now, if you're on like eight gigs or more of RAM, just keep it at this. Um, I know like I have a laptop with like four, me four gigs of RAM. I set that to 300 just because I don't want that to be a bottleneck. I don't want it to like never clear. So I'm going to explain this one, this free lore. Now you're going to open up your task manager, go to this performance tab. Now, you're going to see 16 gigabytes for me. Now, RAM gigabytes are in 1024 things. So, for example, you're going to want to do half of your total RAM capacity. So, for me, 16 gig half of 16 is 8. I can do simple math. So, you're going to want to do 8 times 1024, which is 8192. You're going to want to obviously do this for all of your RAM. So, if you have 2 gigs, 2048. Four, you have 8 gigs, 4D, I don't know, 4096, yeah. Um, and then you can do it for, if you have 32 gigs, you can do that also. 
obviously do it for whatever you have. Do it for as much RAM as you have. Now we're going to start. Now, as you might have noticed, especially when we started, and yours will set now, your current timer resolution is very much not what you're mad, what you want at 0 0.5. Now, when I was first actually set, like learning about this, I thought, oh, it's lower. That means it's going to be smoother. It's not right. It's going to not feel as good. Your mouse is not going to be as synced up. You're not going to feel as good in games. That's why I gave this little latency or BCD edit. Now, we can explain it. I did put this in just because hibernation does cause issues in Windows. That's why I removed it. So you can go into CMD and then you can go BCD edit. Now, sorry, you'll see a lot more for me. I have a couple of Windows boots, but this is my current one I'm on. So we're going to want to just type in power CFG dash H space off. Now that's going to turn hibernation off. It was already off. Typically, it should give you something. Now we're going to do BCD edit slash delete value use platform clock. That's going to say it's completed successfully. Let's say it doesn't show up. You've already removed it. And then you're going to do BCD edit slash set disable dynamic tick. Yes. That's going to say it's completed successfully. Then BCD edit slash set use platform tick space. Yes. That's going to say yes. Now, disable dynamic tip. If you're on a desktop like me, this isn't going to affect you. But for the laptop users, I know that there is definitely people who use laptops in game. This is going to help you not. You're definitely not going to have possibly as much battery life. But hey, you're getting better PS, which if you're gaming, you're going to be plugged in. So high precision event timer. This is what we needed to disable. We're disabling the Windows high precision event timer, not your BIOS high precision event timer. Do not touch that one. Synthetic timers. This is the disgusting timers that Windows gives you. They gave them for security, but they don't do anything. We're on gaming machines. We're not doing high-level classified information. And obviously, let's say you don't feel comfortable typing that in. You can just run that as an administrator and do that. So we're going to restart, and I want to show you what changes now. Okay, so I've restarted. Now we're going to open up this folder again. We're going to click this. Then we're going to open it. Oh, so it already started. Actually, this is my one I'm actually using. So we're going to open up this one. Um, as you can see, it's running. Now I am actually going to switch this finally to 8192. And I'm going to hit start. Now it will not start on startup for you unless you check these two things. Now, this is the one that actually will. But... You don't want it to, you just want it to auto start working. You don't want to have to deal with it. You just want to play your games when you launch. Now you can minimize it and it's all done for you. Now you might have gotten a error or something. Now that is because you need to rebuild your performance counters. I've had a lot of issues. Like if you don't rebuild your performance counters in Windows, I'm just going to say that no matter what, even like, let's say you've done something to your system. Basically you just want to do this. It successfully rebuilt them and then we're going to restart one more time okay so let's say that you didn't no longer had issues let's say that you want to try again try and recheck those so for example you can load up intelligence down by list cleaner and then just recheck them make sure that it works and now we're going to go to this this is a service so for example this is in windows key and r services.msc It'll be called set. I think it's actually S. I forgot. We'll see when we look it up. Um, it should be called like set timer resolution. Now I've left these in here, but we're just going to run the install.cmd. Now I'm actually, I'm going to delete this. You're just going to want to like control C. And as you can see, if you edit it, program files, we're going to want to throw this into our program files. Just pro plug in. And set timer resolution service. Now you're going to want to go back and just hit install. For some, I think you might, okay, already have it installed. So 
as you can see edit time resolution dash install that way it can give you services.msc um hit name se oh set time resolution then you're going to want to it should be automatic already just hit start and then even let's say that you don't start this that will still be running you'll still have something to run off and you guys should be good okay just a little research the only reason i got this error you should not get this error it's because i already had the service installed just thought that you should know that in case you're like oh is this not gonna work it should work i just had this issue because i did not have i already had the service installed unlike you well, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm going to be continuing this little kind of mini-series of me explaining little tweaks, different FPS kind of boost things, things you can do to boost your FPS. I'm also going to start being doing like longer videos where I explain how to boost FPS for a game, going into different configs, all that stuff. Because I think you guys will definitely enjoy that. This is definitely kind of like the build up. A lot of those things you still need to do. This stuff works for every game. Definitely if you have any issues though. Which I doubt you will unless you're on older hardware. Leave it down below. I will see you guys later. Bye guys. Don't forget this is also my Google Drive.